Times are hard and it seems everywhere touching on a vast majority of Nigerians in ways that challenges them on how to cope with the current economic realities. This civil servant tells me how difficult it has been to cope with the salary, even with the new minimum wage. With me, I spend over two five every day. And how much is my salary? salary? It's not much. Before, it's 1,000 every day. But because of this cost of living now, it's difficult. Everything is just skyrocketing. The inflation is high. Fuel subsidy removal, fuel price hike, and a couple of other tough economic decisions by government appear to have wiped out what would have been the gains of a 70,000 naira national minimum wage. To cope with the hard times, he now has to turn to a few side hustles. Others who have nothing else to fall back on simply skip work, showing up once in a while. I had other jobs. I'm a civil servant, I had other jobs. So that's how I just cope, if not, to be difficult for me. To, to survive on my salary, to be difficult. Similar testimonies abound on the streets. Transportation fare within the capital Abuja has more than doubled, leaving many commuters waiting hours for cheaper bus rides. Others resort to walking some distance to reduce the cost. Some people are trying from here to Federal Secretary before they enter Moto because if they, if they enter Moto from here, they cannot be able to risk when they are taking them to. The very moment you increase five naira from fuel, everything automatically get escalated. Not to talk of when you increase fuel from, uh, one, I mean, 190 to 600 or 600 to uh, nine, uh, 955, you're about. Action Aid in Nigeria recently came up with the findings of two separate researches detailing how women, girls and children are coping with the impact of inflation and the harsh economic realities. What they found is mind-boggling. Many Nigerians now resort to eating cassava leaves to stave off hunger. Andrew Memedu is the country director of Action Aid in Nigeria. You have students that normally sometimes they will get free ride from, from, trans, from transporters. Transporters no longer give them free ride, so they have to walk and walk. Of course, you know the zero one children that normally eat for going to school, parents will tell them just go to school when you come back. So they go to school until they come back around 2, 3 or 4, that's when they eat and that's the only meal for the day. The research by Action Aid also shows rising cases of gender-based violence with more men turning violent and transferring the aggression to their wives and children. According to Mamedu, many women have turned to prostitution to fend for their families a few others now invade farms nearby to steal food crops from farmers in a manner that is unprecedented. These are pe petty thieves, people trying to survive. So they don't have what to use, they don't have how to survive. So they just go to farms around their communities and they steal from farmers. So farmers are, what would they do? They, they cannot fence their farms. Their produce are being um, attacked every day. Action Aid's report tallies with Arise News findings on the streets. And this woman's anger sums it all up. I saw a lady that just fainted now because of hunger. She has not been eating since morning, according to her elder sister. So many people are dying silently. So please, I don't want to say more because I'm very angry. I'm very upset. Action Aid believes the consequences are multifaceted and already manifesting in civil servants cutting corners like never before. Public hospitals and schools working in half capacity just to cut costs and cope with the hard times. So what is the way out? Experts say government quickly needs to reconsider some of its economic policies, drastically reduce the cost of governance and invest the gains on public utilities that will genuinely improve the quality of life of the people. Away from a beggarly arrangement of distributing palliatives to the hungry multitude who mostly now trek the distance on empty stomachs. Omo, Bazwai, Arise News.